Well, we definitely got some rain yesterday. The pump's going to work its little heart out today. Let's go take a little heavy iron in. Picked up from the plasma guy yesterday. I'll show you in a minute. Hey, Tabby Cat. I don't think we named that thing yet. A little cold start action. She might look like crap, but she runs like a top. Went and uh, picked up some slag from the plasma guy and some other random stuff. This piece is no joke. That thing is heavy. But uh, we'll go get this stuff dumped out, add a little bit of uh, heavy iron I got in my trailer down there to it. And we'll take a load in this morning. Also got a small light iron load here. Some wires I still got to go through got rained on, but it's not a huge load, but we'll go see what it is. Maybe there's 500 pounds here. I don't know. I think this piece alone is probably at least 200. So maybe there's 600 here. A few Jeep uh, leaf springs and some steering stuff for my brother's lift kit, coil springs, and some transformers that we were taking apart. So. We'll see what it weighs. I think it's 10 cents a hundred right now. So, well, $10 a hundred, right? <laughs>
I'm a good guesser. 620 pounds. Number one. Well, we acquired another hoopty. <laughs> At least it's a black one. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a cable. Oh, I hear something. The key's on. Probably you hear it running. All right. Let's see if it'll fire up. Looks like somebody changed the rad hose recently. What do you think? Try it? Right. Wait a minute. Yep. Hit it again. Something sizzling here. Yeah, like the wire's loose or something. I'm feeling for heat. Maybe it is locked up. All right. Yeah, power. Hold it for a second. The battery's dropping really low when it, Hold it for a second. It's dropping down to like eight volts when I hold it. Definitely acting weird. It might be locked up. What was that, man? That was me starting it. Try it again. I can hear the fuel pump. Not throwing a lot of current though from my battery. I got the current, but it's not growing it. Go ahead. I don't know, man. Might be. Might be locked up. But I don't feel any heat in them. No. Yeah, yeah. The starter's bad. And I'm hearing something like a sizzle. Hmm. Take her back to the back 40. Yeah, let's put them put her behind the bobcat for now. I don't Well, we got another hoopty. <laughs> I don't even know what year this thing is. I didn't even ask. What is it? Uh O2. Oh, we'll see what happens. It only smells like a couple dogs in here. <laughs> all the doors and windows seem to work. Power windows, I checked all them. Somebody broke the back window out of it. Probably scrapping. Looks like duct taped like an 87 window in here. Gorilla tape. <laughs> broke the third brake light. Bed's not in that bad of shape, the little guy. Can't ask for much when it's scrap, right? But these door pins are nice. The door's actually the door actually shuts. It's a little saggy, but it's probably not to the point where. Oh, see, this pin's already out of it. It's already broke. Somebody, somebody replaced it, and it's broken already. Common problem. Well, it is a Vortec, so that's good. 4.3 liter. Could have used that alternator a couple months ago. Ugh. Wow. That is nasty. I don't know. The story I got was it was overheating. They left it at the scrapyard. They bought it off them, the owner. Couldn't get it started. Oh, look at it. It's like mud in there. Jesus. This thing's highly neglected. You know? Wow. Looks like chocolate milk. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. I'm going to pull the battery out of it because it doesn't look that old. They got the mount holding it in. Yeah. 
All right, we got to get that out of there. I don't see a date on it. Maybe we'll find one. Front end ain't too bad besides the bumper and valance. Back tires got some good tread on them, it looks like. I don't know. It's got the overhead thing with bobbers. Airbags are still in it. Let's see if it's got enough juice to see what the... Can we even get a mileage? Don't even have enough juice to do that. I think it said 160 something. Four wheel drive. All the, like I said, all the windows worked. All right, we'll get the battery out of this thing. Is there any money hidden in here? Did it leave anything? Probably not. Owner's manual. Nothing. Just some dog hair. Ugh. All the batteries. December 17, so charge it up. Probably on its last leg. We've got a little bit of a charge. It's gonna be loud if it does start up. Sounds good. Let's do it. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, oh, it sounds. Oh, it sounds locked up. <laughs> Ooh, that don't sound good. She locked. <laughs> Vapor locked, right? Probably blown head gasket, I bet. That's why the oil looks the way it does, probably. Give it a day to settle out. Get all the water out of it, huh? I don't know. Start a fire underneath the block. Mm-hmm. Pull the spark plugs. I ain't going that route. No. DOA. <laughs> Not vapor locked anymore. Pull the cap off the red. See if there's smoke coming out. It's got a quarter tank in it. Hurry up, Ray. What's up? steering empty it is kind of coming back a little bit let's flush that rad out a little i took the hose off the overflow tank it's completely clogged wasn't ever getting anything out of there anyway. We probably do need a stiffer stick. Try breaking this off a little farther up. Oh, yeah, this one's oh, I got it. I got it. Oh man, that is nasty. Did you get the blood clot? <laughs> got the something. Alright, now let's put the hose back on there. Here, you take video. Your camera guy. Great. Let's see what this stuff looks like if it doesn't blow up in my face. There you go. I already flushed it out from the top too, so this ain't even gonna be looking that bad. 
Yeah, you can look on the ground there. Nasty. Now it might actually pull some water out of here. You getting it on your foot? Mm -hmm. You can shut it off. It ain't even dirty. This thing's a straight hoopsie. <laughs> I don't even think the full drive works. I don't know how to get this thing in four wheel drive, actually. Low fuel light. Two wheel high. You're supposed to be in neutral. Four wheel high, maybe reverse. Trying to see if this thing will overheat with some water in it. Well, the four wheel drive is not working. That's for sure. I wonder if four wheel low works. Does four wheel low work? Heck no. It's blinking. You gotta stop. Anybody know how these things work? This thing's lopy. if it'll overeat but looks like it's chilling at 190 it ain't budging it's only got 40 40 psi oil pressure probably because it's so thin it's charging 163 on the clock It's definitely not overheating when it's got water in it. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll leave it there. It's not overheating. It took water. I don't think the head gasket's blown. It's definitely missing. I don't know if it's worth fixing it. We'll have to see. See what happens. Maybe my brother wants to mess with it. He's been looking for something like this. But who knows why it won't go in four-wheel drive. All that push-button crap. You know, there's probably an actuator on there. It hasn't been used in 10 years. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you come back for some more hoopty adventures. Yay, hoopties. <laughs>